Hey, this is Grace with Noble Notary and Legal Document Preparers, and we have something very important to show you today. Okay, so we are going to pass the NNA exam, so you're going to get behind the scenes look at it, uh, what it takes if you're new to this. Um, follow along. Questions haven't really changed much over the years, so uh, it's going to be the exact same test, so you're going to get to see that. Um, I think real quick I want to note there are different certifications that uh, other notaries will say offer you those nobody really cares about those okay if you're looking to get hired by vendors which is the ideal way to jump start your business uh, you need the NNA NSA credential or certification so that's the only one that matters the other ones are just kind of um, a shiny object uh, so come on behind the scenes and let's uh, take this exam okay let's uh, take the NNA exam and one thing I can say is that the exam, I've taken it several years in a row. It doesn't really change very much over the years. I don't know that it changes at all, to be honest with you. But um, So let's see. NNA background, we've already done that. So let's launch the exam. Basic certification, the notary exam. And code of conduct. This is all their code of conduct. It, it will ask questions on the test pertaining to the code of conduct. And then you're going to e-sign this. Um, so you'll want to look that over uh, and then e-sign it. Obviously, done this several years in a row. So we're going to go ahead and just begin this. Yeah. You know how that works. Okay. So let's see. 45 questions. Um, Select the best answer. Uh, NSA has been providing signings with no incident for over 10 years without having undergone a background screening. Therefore, A, must still arrange, B, doesn't need to because they're grandfathered in, or continue to work as long as they obtain a screening. Uh, a sounds good. And listen, I'm going to tell you, you're going to pass. It may not be 100%, but you're going to pass. Um, I think I got a hundred on it once at one point out of the numerous times I've taken it, but all right, select the best answer. An NSA with 10 years experience is fairly is completely familiar with the documents in a pack. When meeting the borrower, the notary signing agent may now advise the borrower on how a specific document might know, uh, present the general purpose of each document and how it must be signed. Select the best answer. Why should an NSA learn about the documents in the package if they're not allowed to provide advice? Well, it's to demonstrate competency. So let's see, B, demonstrate that they're competent. Yep, okay. Select the best answer. An NSA consistently follows practices of obtaining the borrower's thumbprints in their journal, but is commissioned in a state that does not require thumbprints. A borrower has come Applied with all the other requirements, but is objecting to leaving a thumbprint in the journal. What should the notary do? Um, well, I don't know. I'm going to say insist on the borrower leaving that, eh, perform them. I mean, if it's not required in your state, then it's not required. But Okay, the best answer. Notorial evidence form is completed by... borrower and kept by the, the notary signing agent and return to the contracting. So notarial evidence form, this sounds like a Patriot Act type of thing. So um, the borrower is kept by the notary signing agent as a record. Uh, it's probably going to be C. Okay. Select the best answer, six. Notary certificates on loan documents may be completed before. No, you have to do these in the presence of the borrower. B, 
During a signing appointment, a borrower asks the NSA if the loan rate is competitive. Uh, explain to the borrower that the NSA is not permitted to discuss the rates, right? We don't, we're not a loan officer. All right, the NSA regularly records all notary acts at closing in a journal. This is considered uh, a practice required by the code of conduct, not federal law. Notaries are all at the state level. <clears throat> Select the best answer. A borrower expresses a reluctance to continue dining do documents. So I don't want to sign something. Let's see. Recommend the borrower contact the lender's representative. Suggest the borrower continue signing because he has a rescission. Uh, recommend that the borrower sign the documents now and cancel the loan within three days. Let's just call the loan officer. Okay. A borrower expresses concern that once he signs the documents, he'll be stuck with a second mortgage. A good response should be, Suggest the borrower to stop and reconsider. Recommend the borrower contact his lender. Yeah, call your lender. Explain to the borrower, explaining to the borrower that the fees that make up the annual percentage rate of a borrower's loan is encouraged, prohibited, regardless of their expertise, permissible as the notary agent has to break down of fees. I'm going to say just don't even go there. <clears throat> Select the best answer. Uh, a borrower questions the notary fees appearing on the settlement statement. Boy, I've had that happen um, where they saw the uh, the notary fee on the settlement statement and it wasn't what I was getting and they feel like they they are paying that to me. So um, explain to the explain that the notary you are not the title company is the one who said that. So select the best answer. Let's see. Best way to address the borrower's question that the notary signing agent is not allowed to answer is to call for signing, make a list of questions. I like that idea. Let's just do, make a batch a batch questions in one phone call. Okay. One of the parties at the appointment asks the question regarding their first payment due. How should you respond? Well, there's usually a first payment letter or a note. So Direct the parties to read the information in the appropriate document, right? Your first payment letter. Okay, select this answer. The borrower asks the NSA for the contact information of the closing agent and the lender's representative or the loan officer. The notice should respond by providing them the information which is on the closing disclosure. The notary signing agent is asked to Describe, describe several of the loan terms at the signing appointment. The notary may provide a general description of what they are. And uh, I don't know if you haven't seen one of our previous videos, I do have a general description. I call it a cheat sheet that kind of gives you the general description of what those documents are. And obviously, if you've gone through the NNA's course, then you'll, you'll have a breakdown of what they are and where they are in a package. All right, but moving on, select the best answer. During the signing appointment, the borrower divulges that the property being financed is an investment property, but it indicates it's a primary residence. Well, you should call the closing agent because they're, uh, they're committing fraud. <laughs> Complete the signing appointment, uh, explain, to, explain that the closing agent for the transaction needs to be contacted for resuming. Yep. Okay, let's see, best answer, the NSA has commenced a loan with a borrower and the borrower's broker. The mortgage broker asked to speak to them in private in a few for a few minutes. The NSA returns to find the mortgage broker alone and all the documents signed. Well, that's isn't shady at all. Uh, and then what are our options? Thank the mortgage broker for expediting now. Take the loan package and call the agent and you know, yeah, just put a halt on that. Uh, let's see if the deed or mortgage contains Exhibit A in the document is the legal description. Exhibit A must be present. Well, we don't have to notarize that. It's just an addendum. It definitely needs to be added before recording. So is it present or there before recording? I don't know which one it is. I know it has to be there before recording. I would like to think it should be present in the package. Okay. Um, <clears throat> select the best answer. 
uh, ACME direct funding loan package contains additional acknowledgement certification for the NSA to sign and affix the seal and return the certificate. Which of the following is the best action? Sign, so they're saying they have a loose certificate, so you're just notarizing nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know that I would do that. Okay. The lender's rep calls the NSA prior to the appointment and to inform them that the borrower will be represented by an attorney in fact. Okay, so it's permissible as long as they have the approval in writing. In other words, you can see the POA papers. Okay. The borrower asks the NSA to email him copies of the loan documents. How should they respond? Uh, refuse to email the documents and notify the contracting company or closing agent that rests right. Yeah, let them do it. Select the best answer. Which of the following parties is permitted to view all entries in the notary's journal? Uh, somebody with a warrant. Select the best answer. The NSA is running behind, doesn't want to be late for the next appointment. The agent spouse volunteers to download and print copies of the documents. So what should the NSA do? Thank the spouse for the offer, but explain it's not allowed. Yeah, they're confidential documents. Okay. <clears throat> the NSA shows up to an appointment only to discover that it was rescheduled at the last minute for the next day. What should they do with the documents? Leave them with the borrower? No. Store them in a secure location? Yes. Contact the closing agent and request to hold on to them. That sounds about right. Okay. The code of conduct strictly prohibits notaries from receiving a fee from, no, uh, let's see, collecting a fee from, yeah, you can't bill the people even if you get stiffed on the job. Okay. While on your way to a signing appointment and NSA realizes the location is outside of their territory and they should have charged more, the appropriate action should be Complete the assignment and ask for a higher travel fee. No, just make a note of it. Contact the company and refuse. That's kind of rude. You know, people are depending on you at this point. So contact the closing and explain and negotiate additional fee for the extra travel. So I would just say, you know, better luck next time, right? What you got to do and just make a note. Okay. <clears throat> NSA wants to stand out from other NSAs by guaranteeing borrowers and contracting companies that they can take 30 minutes. Yeah, don't do that. Um, is permissible is not as again is prohibited under the conduct uh, we're going to say it is prohibited okay the NSA decides to expand its business by offering new services with respect to advertising the NSA should send out flowers create a website pitching the service to the borrowers well you don't have to pitch it to them but you can leave your business card with that on there but they don't want you doing that right they don't want you trying to Hustle them right there at the closing. NSA creates a new advertisement on Yelp and it says they are on time 24 7 is allowed. Uh, you, you can't use an exaggerated claim as a notary. Select the best answer. Appropriate attire to wear at a loan signing is. Um, determined by it's the code of conduct. It's, it's kind of the code of conduct and the contracting company, actually. Uh, so it's kind of both, but let's just go with code of conduct. Upon arrival to meet the borrower for the signing appointment, the NSA must present, um, you know, you want to show them your ID so that they know who you are. Uh, let's see. The NSA and borrower have finished signing loan documents all that's left is to wrap it up and check the documents but they're already running late for another one what should you do check the documents for and then call the borrower leave immediately leave immediately no just finish your job before you do the next one most people are pretty understanding uh select the best answer when should the signing agent determine if the date and time of the signing appointment are set and ask about usually when they initially call during the initial call with the contracting company. When confirming an appointment to sign documents to the borrower, the NSA should answer questions about the loan? No. Remind the borrower? No. Confirm that they're going to have their ID or you're not going to be doing anything for them. Okay. The contracting company sends instructions to 
uh, NSA before the agent's first assignment. It details a dress code the agent should be required to follow when working. The best response for the agent would be to assure them that you're going to dress appropriately, right? Don't show up in a, like a hoochie mama. Okay. Uh, let's see. The signer indicates that the address stated in the closing documents is incorrect. The lender's rep confirms a mistaken address in the documents, authorizes the signer to correct the address. Based on this information, the agent may not alter the documents, request new ones, have the signer correct the documents. Well, yeah, have the signer correct the documents. Let's see. Select best answer. Which of the following contains both monthly payment amounts and a breakdown of the principal interest and so the payment letter will definitely have it okay which document presented by the borrower is a promise to pay it's the note or a promissory note okay which document authorizes the lender to obtain copies of the borrower's tax returns that is a 4506t and the final printed version of the loan application is referred to as the Uniform Residential Loan App. And the right to cancel or the right of rescission is the borrower's right to cancel the transaction within three business days. What document must the borrower receive at least three days before? That is the closing disclosures. What type of loan will use a HUD-1 uh, reverse? Providing and recording documents are performed by the closing agents. 86%. Man, I can do better than that. So we missed six of them. And uh, I'm not sure if it gives a breakdown, but hey, we knocked that out in 40 minutes. Uh, I know there's, um, that's a passing score. And I know there's other videos out there that are like an hour uh, going through it. So I'm good with that. Um,